Hi everybody, I'm BC and welcome to my hovercraft tutorial for Planet Nomads. And in this guide I'm going to show you how to build two variations of the hovercraft, one using a uranium generator and one using the batteries. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the uranium one. So you can use a uh, post or a jack or whatever you want, but I use I use posters because I'm a creative. Why not? Uh, with the generator, it's always good to use a three by three cockpit instead of a two by three, and that's because the generator itself actually has a a three by three footprint. So this is just a basic, you know, you know, just a simple design. So you place that one block up because you're actually going to have to put the hover pads on the bottom here. Uh, you can use any blocks you want. Uh, the lighter the better. If you look at uh, slope blocks for instance. Uh, this block here is a small, sl the armor slope. It is weighs 15 whereas the block weighs 30. So those are things you do have to keep in mind for. Uh, a design like this will use six hover pads so it's not exactly cheap in a survival aspect. Well, in my world it was wasn't a matter of being cheap, I had so many resources, but that's besides the point. But anyways, you just uh, don't need much, you just got to have enough to get across there. Uh, uh, your just style is entirely up to you. Uh, one of the things you do have to keep in mind though is the hover pads themselves use 150 power, as you can see at the bottom left there. Um, the batteries, like I said, they, uh, the batteries themselves, they produce 100. It doesn't say here, but they produce 100. So if you're going to make a battery design, which I'll show you in a second here, you'll need two batteries, or three batteries for two hover pads. But uranium generator has 5,000 output, so you can get 30 some on there. So it's always better to have that. But anyways, go ahead, just put a few more hover pads on here. And with everything else that we do in Planet Nomads now that's got to do with power, we just stick a switchboard on it. And that little thing makes things so much easier, even though people have had issues with them. It's all you got to do is when you build everything that you got to build, go to your switchboard and you just connect this to it, everything else. So we'll go ahead and connect the, three, the six hover pads and the generator, like so. And then just like the wheels and the air blades, they do have a config menu. So we open up the config menu. This just turns them on and off. This will actually disconnect it from the power supply. This changes direction just like the wheels, but these are not predefined like the wheels. And as you can see, that's showing you how the hover pad is actually going to rotate. So in this case, uh, when I push forward, since forward, forward is going to respond to this arrow, this part of the hover pad is going to go down, this one's going to go up, so it's going to cause me to go backwards. So then we do it again, and then that will be forwards, just like the air blades and technically the wheels. And then we'll go ahead, and then it depends on how fast you want to go and how much you're pulling. They are limited to about 35 kilometers. You could probably get 40 going down if you really tried, but it's besides the point. The fact of the matter is you can actually drive on water on these. And I mean odd water, not in water. So then you have different steering options you can do. You can have steering straight in the front. Uh, you just got to make sure that it's the same. Uh, if you click once on this side, you always have to click twice on that side to make it the same. Uh, so that'll just be like a car driving, so when you, your front end steers. If you want to have turn on a dime, then you just have the steering in the opposite in the back, which would be that way. Just go ahead and do that. All right, and then there's one other setting here. Uh, it's uh, grounded and hover mode. Uh, grounded mode when you're not in the cockpit and I can take this down now since it's all set up uh, this is it this is grounded mode which means that it will not actually hover until you hop in the hop inside so we hop inside and as you can see it lifts up and then you get out and it drops down uh, you do have to be careful when you're getting out especially if you have like a tight spot you're trying to get out because this thing will crush you and it has happened to me before and then at the same time if we switch to hover mode and as you can see, it's actually starting to lift it up. And that's how we can get the perpetual motion with different things. And so there is that. So let's take a first spin. Let's go ahead out in the water. Like I said, it's not it's not the fastest mean, means of transportation. But there we have it. So that is, that is our uranium generator. It's also handy to have your hover pads as 
not necessarily as far out as possible, but the wider your stance, the better, because then it stops this rolling that you see. Uh, it's not too big of an issue for me right now, but being on a bit of a slope and turning, I could roll over because I'm top heavy. All right, so that is the generator version. So let me go ahead and we'll actually build this here so I can show you how to charge it. So I'll do the same thing. Uh, in this case, you can use the 2x2 two two or the 3x3. Three three. I'm just going to use the 3x3 three because three it's here. So then if we want four hover pads, and we only need four hover pads because we're not carrying the big heavy generator with us, uh, we will need six batteries. You need two battery or three batteries for two hover pads because they only produce 100 power even though yeah it doesn't say uh, so we go ahead and we'll just put a couple hover pads here and here a couple more on the other side one there and one there I tried building this thing earlier and it kind of bounced so don't be surprised if it does this game's got some funny physics someday sometimes okay so now we go ahead and do the same thing we connect this to all six batteries, four, five, six. Hover pad one, two, oh, three, four. And then again, I just have to configure them. Uh, let's see how nimble this thing can get. So we're going to go that way. And this one is going to be double. Alright, so we drop that down. So now this is a battery version. I am in creative, so the batteries are c constantly charged. But if you ever need to ch charge something like this, all you got to do is go up to even a vehicle that's got a generator or any type of power source. You just connect that switchboard to that switchboard, and now we're charging. Simple. Uh, I can just drive off and have it automatically disconnect. Uh, one of the things they're actually planning on adding is reconnection of... Uh, connected power lines. So if you have a vehicle on a charger, you take it off, go driving somewhere, bring it back, you automatically plug it back in for you, which is great. And here we go. And now we got our our little guy. And that concludes my hovercraft tutorial. Hope it helps everybody out. I uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like on the video, and I shall see you next time. Later.